Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because it is a forgotten favorites video. So every month there is a video collaboration with a bunch of YouTubers started by Saria and Jasim, and I will um, have them linked down below as well as the other amazing YouTubers taking part. So they created this amazing monthly YouTube series where we kind of spotlight a hidden Disney movie. So we can create whatever video we like and you know just kind of showcase it in our own special way. So for this month I decided I was going to create a hoodie based on the Powerline character from a Goofy movie. Did I say the movie was Goofy movie? But yeah it is Goofy movie. It's one of my absolute favorites. I watch it with my sons and we all love it. It's just an amazing movie. So if you would like to see how I created this hoodie please keep watching. Okay, so for this tutorial, since we're embroidering on a hoodie, I used cutaway stabilizer in my 5x7 hoop. So I digitized this myself, so I just pre-planned to use a 5x7 because I didn't want the actual kind of design to be too big, so that's what I went with. So I'm just using my guide to uh, position my pencil into the center points and the left, right, and top and bottom points just to make it a little bit easier so I can just use a ruler and then draw out a guide to figure out where my center is on the hoop. So now we're gonna take our hoodie. I chose a yellow hoodie because obviously it's power line and I did this off camera, but I ironed, folded it in half and ironed it so I could get a center seam. So now what you're going to do is, because I have a single needle embroidery machine, I need to turn this inside out so I can kind of strategically position the hoodie and, you know, be able to embroider it. If you have a multi-needle machine, then you don't need to do this. But if you have a single needle machine, which most of us do, then follow along with this part. So now that you've turned it inside out, you want to make sure to lay it down so that the tag is facing up. So just lay it on top of your hoop and make sure that that tag is facing up so that when you kind of strategically place it, you're embroidering on the front of your hoodie. So I'm super newbie at this, but um, I kind of blocked the camera a lot of the times. So what I did was I peeled back that top layer so that I am looking at the right side of the hoodie so the back side of the hoodie that we want to embroider on is touching the hoop and um, I put the grid down just to make sure that we're centered following that crease line to make sure that that center crease is lined up with our guide and I'm using pins to you know connect them to the stabilizer this is a process called floating so um, if you want a video all about floating and how I float things go ahead and let me know and I will be happy to do that but um, yes so what you're seeing here is me trying to spread out the fabric not stretch it but just spread it out so it's even and then use pins to float it and connect it onto the cutaway stabilizer So because I make t-shirts and hoodies quite often, I prefer a certain measurement from the neckline. So for me, I chose four inches. Now I had a centimeter ruler, so I kind of guessed and went with about eight centimeters, which worked out great actually. So uh, about four inches, like eight centimeters-ish from the neckline should be pretty good, especially if you're making something unisex which is what I'm planning for this hoodie. You know, my husband or I could kind of Disney bound with it. So I'm just gonna measure that and mark it with a pin. I wanted to say earlier that you want to pin as close to the actual hoop as you can for the perimeter uh, pins so that your needle doesn't hit it and break. For this one, it's just going to be there so I can position my needle and then I'll be removing it before I start embroidering. So here we are at my embroidery machine and we are going to put in our hoop. Now everyone's machine's gonna be different. 
Uh, some load from the left, some load from the right. It just depends on yours, but you're going to want to be very strategic because this is like a bulky item. It's a hoodie. So you want to make sure you're not banging into your presser foot or your needle. So if you see, I kind of gently, gently push it through under that needle strategically while I'm putting the hoop into the machine, just so that there's no unnecessary damage. So just gently take your time, make sure you are kind of feeding it in slowly, lock your hoop, and then we will set it up to start embroidering. So we've locked our hoop, and as you can see, it's in the same orientation as it was when we were setting it up, with the tag facing up. So we're going to peel off that top layer, and we're going to expose the side where we had pinned it to the stabilizer, the actual side that we wanted to embroider. So you see, we're kind of creating a little, you know, hole, I guess, and um, we're going to expose where we want to embroider. So again, we want to be strategic to make sure nothing is in the way of our arm. We want to smooth out our fabric, but not stretch it so that it doesn't distort the design. But we just want to smooth it out and then we're going to be ready to set up our positioning and go from there. So I'm going to select the design that I digitized and I'm going to go ahead and trace it just so I know that I have the top of my design where I had measured it. Do you remember how we put that needle in at the top about four inches from the neckline? I'm trying to make sure that we are in line with that. And I noticed that we weren't, so I'm going to nudge the design up so that that needle is hovering directly above that measurement pin that we put in. And then once it's there, we're going to remove that pin. I think it's also a really good habit to trace all four sides of the design, as well as the four corners, just to make sure you're not going to hit the hoop and break a needle, or you're not going to, you know, bang into those pins that you put in to make sure that your hoodie is pinned onto the stabilizer. Basically, you don't want anything to come in contact with your needle, so you have to be really, really meticulous to make sure, and tracing is just a great habit, whether you're on a single needle or a multi-needle. Just always trace, just to be safe. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to put my presser foot down and I'm gonna hit the green button to start. And this is always like super nerve wracking because it goes really fast and it just quickly stitches out the first couple of stitches. So move the excess fabric away because you don't want to sew your hoodie shut, which is why we use this technique. And just kind of make room for the stitches and then let it do its thing. So I was happily stitching away until I realized I forgot the top stabilizer, which is the water soluble stabilizer. Now because this is a fleece hoodie, it's really puffy and um, the stitches would just sink right into it. So I freaked out just a little bit and then I was like, okay, I'm going to pause this and then try to re-sew on top of it with the water soluble stabilizer. So um, like I had mentioned, it kind of just sits on top so that the stitches don't sink into a like a puffier kind of fabric. So here you can see I'm putting on the water soluble stabilizer which please don't forget to use that if you have a thicker fabric or you know like a towel or anything that the stitches can kind of sink into. So I worked my way back on my machine you can go back by 100 stitches, uh, 500 stitches, like 10 or 1 stitch whatever you need. And as I was doing this, I actually knocked the position out of place and I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be completely not aligned. What am I gonna do? So I panicked and then I figured I'm just going to keep trying to get that measurement exactly correct. And I just nudged the design you know, up and down until I got the needle at the exact correct position. 
and you would you, you would do that with your top measurement just make sure that when you hit the top measurement it is in line with that old design that was already sewn out and once I got that figured out it was all good then you would just kind of stitch as you intended initially so you're gonna stitch on top of that water soluble stabilizer again making sure that the fabric is smooth but not stretched because if it's too loose it's gonna pucker and it's just not gonna look great so just smooth it out and hit start since this was a fairly simple design I digitized it so that it was a satin border so it's going to stitch the underlay stitches and then it's going to do a satin border and then it's just going to continue throughout the design people with single needle machines you guys really need to make sure to babysit your garment because if you just leave it for too long and just get up and walk away it's going to either catch onto something and sew the hoodie shut or it's going to just veer off or something. You want to make sure that everything is out of the way of the needle so that you are, you know, making sure there's no like oopsies because it's not as simple as sewing. You're going to have to undo a lot of stitches and it's almost not worth it most of the time. So just stay there, stay with your machine. If you need to get up, just pause it and come back, but just make sure it's not doing anything it shouldn't be doing. Yay, your design is done. It is time to unlock it off of the machine and gently pull the hoop out. Remember how we took our time to hoop it into the machine and make sure that nothing messed with the needle? We're going to do the same thing as we pull it out. So just gently move everything under the needle and the presser foot and pull out your finished project. So now you're going to want to Unscrew your hoop, loosen it, and pull out the stabilizer. And because we use cutaway stabilizer, we're going to have to cut it. So just gently cut around it. You don't want to cut right to the stitches. You don't need to at all, and you don't need to especially cut in between the design. Just cut around it, give it about a centimeter or like half an inch, and um, yeah, just be very, very careful not to cut the hoodie. So we're gonna turn it inside out and we're going to remove the water-soluble stabilizer. Now this is extremely thin, so you can kind of just pull it away from the design uh, around the perimeter, and on the inside you can kind of just rub with your finger and it will get loose. If it is hard to reach the areas in the middle of the design, you can go ahead and take a towel that has some water on it and just gently rub it and it should just either dissolve or just rip off partially and you can pull it off. It's not going to hurt your stitches and it's not going to hurt the hoodie so don't worry about that at all. And that's it! You made your own power line hoodie. If you guys are interested in the digitized design, I could definitely put that up in my Etsy shop. Just go ahead and mention that in the comments below. And I'd also love to know any other designs that you would enjoy watching, and I will get started on that right away. So that is it. That is the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know what you thought about it. Um, a lot of you, over 95% actually in the analytics, are not subscribed. So if you do enjoy my videos, please subscribe. I would love to have you come in for the next one and just spend some time with me. Um, but until next time, I will see you guys. Bye.